Hey, what's up? This is the Clark Knight, the self-proclaimed Pokemon expert himself. And today we're talking about gym leaders. Part of the Pokemon's game design that really works for it is the progression system that relates to the gym badges. So every gym badge that you get, you feel like that you've really accomplished something and it's a good checkpoint in the game. Most importantly, the unique personalities of these leaders have made every gym battle really unique. So without any further introduction, here's my top 10 gym leaders. So at number 10, Norman from Ruby and Sapphire. So here's what's dope about Norman. He's your father, right? And in all the other games, you only have a mom. So when I found out I got a dad in this one, I was pretty pumped. During the battle, you actually are challenged by a powerful Slay King. And so beating your father, it actually is very meaningful in that sense. Number nine is Blaine from Red and Blue. So this man lives in a volcano, right? I don't know how I could leave him off the list. Our canine, Magmar, Rapidash, they're all cool, but why I really like Blaine is because of his backstory. He's responsible for cloning Mew's eyelash to get Mew too. Along with that, in the anime, the gym battle with Ash, the Charizard finally listens to him. It's a beautiful scene, one of the best moments in the Pokemon anime, probably my favorite battle. So at number 8 we got Bryson from Black and White. Admit it, you have to be pretty cool to be an Ice Ninja. <laughs> you get it? Cool? <laughs> oh. oh, that was bad. Nah, his bear tick, super nice challenge, and the way he saw that the Shadow Triad was invisible, that just proves how legit he is as a ninja. But sadly, he does not make another appearance in Black and White 2, but he returns to be a movie star. So, I think that's a pretty chill way to spend your days. <laughs> oh, stop. Number 7 is Flannery from Ruby and Sapphire. Most people just think Flannery is awesome because she's hot. And as a fellow fan of Fire Pokemon, I can see where they're coming from. But I think it's cool how within the time of the battle, she goes from intimidating, like, Oh, punk, you're never gonna beat me, I'm the new trainer, uh, uh, don't mess with me, to, like, this wise, like, young, hot girl that's like, uh, Oh, I was trying too hard to be someone who I'm not. And that kind of character development is something you don't see typically in gym leaders, which I really dig. So, at number six is Brock from Red and Blue. Everyone has fond memories of Brock, unless you pick Charmander. But, especially in the anime, Brock was extremely important. He acts as a guide for the group, and despite immaturely falling in love with every girl he sees, he has some of the best moments in the anime. Oh no, it's raining! Ah. Hey, I know! I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan! So Lisa from Black and White, and Black and White 2 is number 5. I'm fond of bad puns, Lisa's fond of bad puns, it shouldn't be too shocking. <laughs> I also love Elisa since she was the one that told Bianca's dad that he needs to chill, which was a much needed to progress the story in my opinion. Along with that, she changes her appearance from Black and White and Black and White 2, which I thought was an extremely nice touch going between games. Other than that, she makes a cool appearance coming on stage as this supermodel figure, and I just really like her character design. So number four is Roxy from Black and White 2. I know we lost Bryson in Black and White, but in the next, they gave us Roxy, which kind of makes up for it. Despite the struggle to become a rock star and gym leader, Roxy doesn't have much of a backstory, but her gym as an experience was pretty rad. Fighting her in a rock club and fighting her on stage with her band was unforgettable and was one of the best gym experiences I had. Number three was Acerola from Sun and Moon. I know she's not technically a gym leader, but I'm gonna say trial captains count for this list. It's my list after all. The sassiness and the derpiness and the creepiness was what made her instantly my favorite Sun and Moon character. The fact she also was a kahuna adds to the memorability and is also why I love her so much. The fact that she's a kahuna just adds to it and makes it icing on top of the cake at the end of Sun and Moon. So number two is Claire from Gold and Silver. Most people are all about Lance. Well, Claire's just as quality. Yeah, she doesn't have Dragonite, but she's got three Dragonairs and a Kingdra, so that kind of adds up to a Dragonite, right? She's one of the few leaders that doesn't roll over once you beat her. 
You don't get the last badge from the Johto League unless you navigate through Dragon's Den, which she finally will acknowledge that you're worthy to go to the Elite Four. This is because that her only loss up to that point was from her cousin Lance. And other than that, I just love her design. It's fantastic. It's pretty much like a female version of Lance, but I dig it so much. So number one is Jasmine from Gold and Silver. You guys probably didn't see this coming, right? Well, this was tough, because my top five bounced around a lot, and I landed on Jasmine. One of my favorite moments in Pokemon was helping Jasmine get medicine for Illa Ampharos Amphi, and she was so compassionate up at the tower, I really didn't mind doing the quest. But what makes it so great is she's so compassionate, she's so nice, she's this loving little girl, but when you get to her gym, she stomps you with her Steelix. This was easily one of my most memorable gym leaders and gym battles because I didn't know how to handle steel types at that point. They were new in the second generation. But other than that, I just loved Jasmine's design. I loved everything about her and she was just a super memorable trainer. But yes, that was my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am recording in a hot car because my room is too noisy right now. So I am going to end this as soon as possible. But go check out my other videos. I got a top 10 kahunas. I got other top 10s. I got a ton of Pokemon stuff on my channel. I'd love for you guys to come by and subscribe. But thank you for watching. This was the Clark Knight. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.